everyone, it's Laurel here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be doing uh, some acrylic block watercoloring comparisons in today's videos. And I'm going to be using some different watercoloring uh, items that I have on stock here. All the cards are going to be using this stamp set from Mama Elephant. It's called Splendid. And I've already gone ahead and cut some watercolor cards there. They're top folding A2 cards. And I've gone ahead and heat embossed in black the different sentiments onto the card base just for the sake of the video so we can go ahead and just showcase the different watercolors. So I'm going to be using this acrylic block for all of the watercoloring. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is the Peerless Watercolors. These are so cool. They come in this little booklet like this, and I just went ahead and cut them out in little squares and put them in these coin envelopes. Got this idea from Jennifer McGuire, and she's the one that also introduced me to this product. I had never heard of it before. So the watercolors actually pressed into these, these papers here. So I've gone ahead and wet my brush, and I'm putting the watercolors onto the acrylic block. Now these watercolors are self-blending, which is another reason why I like them. They're unique because the the watercolor is intense and it's all pressed into these pages but they also blend on their own so really no blending skill is required here so I am just picking up some different colors here and putting them directly onto my acrylic block and this is kind of not the neatest of techniques as you can see watercolor drips everywhere so just keep that in mind I am working off of a Tim Holtz craft sheet there because it's very easy for cleanup now you can go in and add more color and then you can add more water I'm just basically taking the same uh, water that was on that brush and I just kind of added a little bit more water just to wet the acrylic block there and then I'm going through because I want to get more uh, color and blending you just kind of play around there's really no right or wrong way to do this but I'm just adding a little bit more water onto that acrylic block until I'm satisfied with the coverage of my card there and I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to clean my up workspace and this is what I did for this card I just added a strip of pattern paper there to the left hand side and then a strip of black cardstock to create the frame and I this is my favorite card out of all of them that I made today now I'm going to do the cure take gonzai watercolors and they come in different sizes I think they're 6 12 32 um, so I'm using this stamps I love that teal by the way that's kind of the reason why I got here. So anyway, I'm using the 24 set here that I picked up from Simon Says Stamp. So I'm just going in and adding the water onto my acrylic block, which is what I'm going to do for every card that I make today, just doing different watercolor venues. So you can see a comparison of how they all blend. And I'll show you all of four of the, of the cards again at the end of the video. So now I've got my watercolor block there. Everything's all watered up there and I'm going to stamp. And then I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more water and I'm going to stamp again. And I'm just going to continue to do that until I'm satisfied with the, the look of the card. Now I'm going to dab off some of that color there. It looked a little bit muddy. Uh, and then I'm going to set this aside. Now all of my cards I let dry naturally on their own. I did not use any heat gun. Uh, so I wanted to go in and add a little bit more of that teal. So you're able to go in and do that. You can just play until you get the looks that you want. I love these watercolors. You get a lot of, look at the palettes of color there. So this is a good bang for your buck too as far as the watercolors go. So I'm just playing around with the different colors until I get the look that I want and I let that card dry naturally. Now for this I went ahead and took my acrylic block and I just kind of placed it over the center of my card to create like a little mask and I'm taking some Distress Ink that's in the ripe persimmon color there and I'm going to water my Distress Ink down and I'm just going to go in and paint around the, uh, the white portion of the card here using the same brush just because I didn't want all that white. I had gotten ink splatter because this is kind of a messy technique I got some ink from the uh, Gonzai watercolors off onto the white there so I needed to kind of cover it up a little bit to uh, eliminate that you can use some masking tape or something and create a border but I didn't do that for this card because watercoloring is fun and it's not going to be perfect and that's the the fun with watercolors is it's not perfect so I'm just going in at darkening you know just blows what is the word I can use for this just kind of blotting around a whole bunch of color here uh, heavier in some areas lighter in others just to create a really fun uh, look there and then when you lift it up you've kind of created this little uh, border of color and then this is the look that you get when it's completely dry I think it's so cool and I do not mind that some of the orange got in over there on the right hand side I think it's so pretty now I'm going to do some watercolor crayons here that I had in my stash these are super easy and fun to use and I'm just going to cut, take the crayons and I'm going to color them directly onto my acrylic block here 
This is the colors, the watercolor crayons that I'm using. It was kind of quick, so all of my supplies will be linked up in the YouTube description below and also over on my blog as well with links on where you can purchase them online if you want. So these are just different colors. I'm just grabbing some colors and basically just scribbling it down onto my uh, card there. And then I'm squirting it with some water. You can do some Perfect Pearls mixture too if you want to kind of jazz things up and press, 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 and you can see I got some splatter when I lifted the block, and I thought that was pretty cool. So a little, I left this card very, uh, exactly how it was, I just rounded the bottom corners there. I love that little splatter look, that was an accident, and I love it. So now I'm gonna do distress inks here. Distress inks blend perfectly together, they're so much fun to work with, they react with water. Uh, so I'm just grabbing four different colors here. Now I'm gonna start inking from the middle, and then moving up and down so I don't contaminate my ink pads here. So that was Peacock Feathers, this is Squeezed Lemonade, this is Shabby Shutters, and then I'm going to do Spice Marmalade up at the top. Now here I got a little Peacock Feathers on it, so I just kind of smushed my, my pad there over there on my craft mat, and all is well in the world. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and squirted some water there. And I didn't squirt enough. I didn't know how much I needed to squirt. I didn't want to mur muddy up the colors. So with watercolors, you, you can just try it. I'd rather have not enough than too much. So I went ahead and squirted on some more. And you can see things are starting to blend. So I decided to add some more color there. I'm adding more spice marmalade up to the top. And I squirted it with some water. And I'm just going to keep fiddling around until I'm happy. So this is it, how it looks when it's dry. And now I'm taking that same acrylic block and kind of using it as a mask. And then I'm using some of this Distress Paint, and I'm just kind of pouncing the color around to create a border. Again, I did that because, as you can see down there in the bottom right, some of the watercolor kind of spilled out onto the, the white there. So uh, it wasn't like a flicking or a splotch. It, it looked like it was an accident. So this was a great way to kind of cover up my little mishap there. So I'm just kind of pouncing around. Excuse my arms. <laughs> I'm just kind of, this is a Weatherwood Distressed Paint, by the way. So I've kind of pounced it around. I like the look that it leaves there. And then I'm just wetting my brush, not too much. I don't want it overly saturated. And then I'm just going in and kind of adding a little bit of water to blend the look. But I still want it kind of textury and messy. And as you can see, here's the finished look with this card. So those are the four different... Uh, ways that you can use watercolors. This is with the Peerless Watercolors right here. This is my favorite of all of them. Here's the Gonzai watercolors, the Cure Take Gonzai watercolors. These are the watercolor crayons right here. And then finally we have the Distressing. So much fun. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to head on over to my blog, there'll be more still photos so you can see a better comparison uh, by pictures. And if you're interested in any of the supplies, of course, again, they are linked up below in the YouTube description and also over on my blog as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.